on that little bend. No. So you yeah. take, before you do that, you take the two pins out and the back block comes out. That's right. Then you can do the nut and then it all comes out. Yeah. Then you've got to disable the fucking arm to get the inner. Yeah. The compression tube or the pistol. Yeah. Because that won't come out unless you do it. And that's only held on with a circle. Okay. Oh, okay. You've got to be careful how you get them off because they're just there. You've got to put your hands all around it like that and try and get it off the face. Straight everywhere, and you won't be able to find it. Yeah. So I always usually put my hand over it, and then I get like one of these little um, screwdrivers, got fixed ruptures with, and then just slide in. I've got to have a scratch and work on it. I tried using circuit pliers to get them off this stuff. Yeah, too small. Well, it's how you go, isn't it? Yeah. Learn to shoot a bit better. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, just enjoy shooting it. Yeah. <laughs> and then if it plays up, so you've got the chance of taking it back to the shop. There's the imp with a three shot. To do this or whatever. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's that group. I've just shot with the imp. That's, you can see three shots there, and there's a pellet, a new pellet in there. There's a little bit of gap each side. Probably three quarters of a pellet on the right, and maybe half a pellet. So you'd say two and a half mil on the left, and that's in a breeze. Right, I've got my son here with the uh, imp, and there's a target at 57 meters. I've just showing him where the aim point is, uh, and it's a can sideways, uh, endways on. So see if we can hit it. We've just had some bottle tops out, and I've just smacked bottle tops one after each other. This range with that imp. Good shot. Now that was a class shot. Uh, I've got to say that was his first attempt at that, using the uh, calibration. What a date! What I give him. You got to be happy with that, aren't you? Well, I've got a really hard test because there is a little bit, believe it or not, of a right, left to right wind up here, and on top of that pallet, if it, you'll see, just right of the middle, there's a tiny, tiny stone. It's probably maybe half the size of a bottle top. Uh, I'm going to use six mil dots of old over and see if I can uh, get it in a couple of shots. I've got to aim off the wind as well. Oh, first shot. go, that's the imp for you, 7 metres. Right, here's a long range shot, two pigeons sat on this line, I've just lazed them, and they're at 63 metres. So 63 metres according to my calibration is 7 and a bit mil dots for the imp. <laughs> I can get one of them. There you go. How about that for a shot? Shot, what do you think of that for a shot? Yeah, good. Just uh, just sit, pick the gun up, gun safe, and here's my son using the imp I've just used. Can have a shot? Yeah, of course you can. Right, got the Sandal Field Sports imp with me now, and sadly, I've not been able to uh, film because I've been taking uh, standing shots on top of that bank there. And uh, I think I've just got three. Two around about 27 yards, uh, and one was a standing unsupported. And I give it four and a half mil dots of old over. I didn't laze it because there was grass in front of me, tall grass. Uh, and four and a half mil dots is 53 meters. So I'm pretty pleased with that. And we'll pick them up now. Well, there's the first one. 
And like I said, I'm at the top of that bank there. So it's about 27 yards, I think. Not quite pleased with that. Standing unsupported, straight in the eye, or just below the eye there. That's one. This is the next one. I don't know where. It's blown anyway. So it's hit. Looks like just slightly low there, just below the ear. And out that side there. So, bit of a neck and head shot. But it looks like it uh, severed his spinal cord because he went over really quickly. But like I say, couldn't film him because uh, we're standing unsupported shots. So here are the two we just picked up. Uh, see we've walked a bit further down the field and the long range shot four and a half mil dots should be somewhere around here uh -huh. and there he is Mr Bunny <coughs> really pleased with that that's a good shot uh, for the imp see Still got a little bit of nerves, but yeah, it looks like it ate him in the back of the head and it actually came out his nose, so that's not a bad shot. And that was where we are now. I zoom in right on top of that bank there, standing unsupported. Pretty happy with that. Down he goes. So where we are then at the start of the night, you can see there's a rat working his way towards us, then one comes out from the right. It's the one that's coming out from the right on top of the concrete now, what Scott targets first with the ultra and you can see he takes it with a clean headshot nice shot Scott second one's a quick one you see he rolls over this is me now and you can see the rat poking his head out from between the breeze blocks so I take it kneeling using Scott's ultra and he rolls over this is down the valley of death you can see there's a rat in there already and I shoot him and he kicks around with nerves and this one's about 30 yards on top of the valley of death nice shot to the head uh, and he's over and kicks around as well with nerves, which is normal. So this is Scott's first time rabbiting ever with an air rifle, and you can see his first shot is absolutely a perler, straight in the side of the brain, and the rabbit's over. This is Scott again, you can see the rabbit in the middle of the picture now. He's trying to squat down, and I tell him just to put the, uh, the dot on the pulse just to the right hand side of its eye. You can see a beautiful shot. This is his attrick, so this is the third one in a row. You can see he's resting on a fence post here on top of a bean bag, and he's tracking this rabbit bouncing away from him. Nice shot at the back of the head. Well, I've got Scott here, uh, and it's the first time he's ever been out shooting rabbits with his uh, air gun. He's, uh, he's been with me loads of times and shot loads of rats. But tonight we said we we're going to go out and take him on his first rabbit shooting session. Uh, and as you saw, he got three. Well, three of the ones you did see. Uh, and I will edit in uh, his shots, saying that obviously that Scott shot him. So, congratulations, mate. Not bad. An hat trick on the first night. No, no, not bad at all. So, this is me then, and I'm using Scott's Ultra. You see there's a rabbit's eye there, around about 35-40 metres away. I took a nice shot and hit the rabbit uh, and he was down and out. Here's at the plantation and this is where I get quite a few on the trot. Uh, you see there's two nice rabbits there. First shot bowls him over, a few kicks. Number two, the one to the left now. Take the shot, bowl him over. And then the third one, that was his mate who would run off earlier on. And he comes sideways on, which is a bad mistake. Take 
take the shot and roll him over nicely. This is a long range shot this is. And you, this one's probably near on 50 meters. You can see bowls him over. Now I'm going to do a bit of a slow motion for you. So he's there. You see the pellet up going right above it and coming down and hitting him straight on the forehead. Straight up and down. And all I was using was halfway up the ears to get that shot. This, I believe, might have been one of the other rabbits, what I did earlier on, because you can see it looks like a bit of blood, uh, and it looks like it might have rolled over then got back up. So I believe that was the second shot uh, which dispatched him correctly uh, and humanely. This is a long-range shot. I estimated this at 55 yards, but it's actually thinking about it probably a lot further. Uh, you can see it was a pinpoint shot, and later on you'll actually see where it impacts. Right, I'm just using my Sony Handycam, it's not got night shot, but uh, I've got Scott helping me and he's holding the torch up. Uh, and you just witnessed uh, the Atric, and that was with, just shine it on your Ultra mate. Uh, and that's with Scott's Ultra, and then he's got the Photon on, so he's using his rifle tonight. Uh, uh, and we'll just look at these bunnies, so we'll start at this one. Let's have a look what this one is, yes. This is the one what I hit uh, actually in the plantation. You can see the shot placement there, look perfect in the back of the head. And when I went over to pick that up, that was an easy 50 meters, easy 55 yards. It was further than I thought. I did give it a bit of hold over though. This one here uh, is a looks like it's a bit of a neck, and it's been shot in the back of the head here, but somehow it's bled out. This one here was about 40 meters, and look at the shot placement there. It's about as perfect as you can actually get, showing you the quality of the Ultra. And the Photon works really well as well. It's an impressive tool. This one, I'm not sure where the uh, shot placement was, but it, as you saw, it went over. Oh, there, yeah, I just found it. Let's roll him over. see it there look so that's it probably an entry wound and the exit is probably inside so somewhere around the brain looking at the angle we were shooting so impressive so this is going back to the car now just before we're packing up uh, and we see this one you can see there's quite a lot of mist now and that's one of the reasons why we're packing up and Scott rests on the fence post takes it nice and cleanly I've just been and picked this up for Scott. It's just shot. Look at shot placement there. Just above the eye. Perfect brain shot. Uh, if you can uh, put the torch on your face. And there we go. Yeah, it's focused now. That's the uh, best shot of the night for you, that one, not it? Yeah, definitely. You happy with that? I am indeed, so is the ultra impressive, you know, impressing you? It is impressing me very much so, yes. <laughs> So here we are, we're calling it a night. It's uh, exactly 12 o'clock, I've just looked at my watch. And the fog's rolling in. Uh, and the fog's rolling in, which is causing a bit of a nightmare for the IR. Uh, as I said earlier, we decided tonight to come out and give Scott a chance at shooting his first rabbit, so it's only fair that we bring his rifle we're with his night vision, and it's worked really well. Uh, it impressed me. So we've got nine here, and we've got another four. What we've hit, as you've seen, uh, but uh, they've managed to kick the way into the nettles and into the brambles and we just can't find them, even with the torches. But we've we nine picked up and another four, so we've done really well. Enjoyed it? I have, yeah. Yeah, it's been fun. No longer a bunny virgin, are you? I'm not, no. <laughs> uh, I'd just like to say as well, on the, uh, on the way back to the car, after we'd said that Scott had got his after it and got three, uh, he's just got the last one and that's the one I've just shown you uh, when I said I picked up and it was his best shot of the night so well done mate